<laughs> Continue, Steve. <laughs> you asshole. <laughs> Biting on homage. <laughs> hey, look, man. Hey, look, man. Niggas don't even understand. A night like this, man. This nigga in here because of love. This nigga, and I don't like this nigga on most days. Here because of love. Steve, work hard. Brendan, you going to get on the fucking camera. Why are you so pressed? With this? Because yeah. you got the cakes, man. Yeah. Uh, Niggas love the cakes. Oh, my God. Girls love the cakes, too, man. Yeah, Speaking of cakes, let's bite. <laughs> and he love it. He can't work to do that shit. He invested that shit, Sean. That CK. I haven't been here so long, yo. My nigga, Sean. My nigga. My nigga. Stevie said that shit on Sweet as a bitch, Who will start? Who's going to start this subject, yo? Sean. All right, all right, all right. go ahead. Well, biting the homage. Okay. A new trend as a kind of form. I think like back in the day, we go back to the seventies, the eighties. Uh huh. You the nigga lying, you fucking biting. Yeah. Right. Yes. yes. Okay. Now, things change. Different generation. When niggas, when niggas use nigga lying, they paying, they paying homage to the to, to a line that that they like from another nigga. Cool with me. That's true. It's cool with me. Mm-hmm. When I say a nigga biting, if you biting, I I, I think if you heard a nigga. If, if you took a nigga verse or line and you presented it as your own, then you're biting. But if I use if I, if I use a line I heard in the song, I thought P. Roth thought it was dope. And I say a rap and I throw that line in there, I'm saying shout out to my nigga. That's paying homage. I got no, I heard Jay-Z pay homage to a lot of cats. Big in here. Do the do the, cats. do the the shit we was doing in the living room, do it. What, how did Big how did Jay address the big lines? He I'm said, a big when I verse. say a big verse, I'm only bigging up my brother. I big up my bird. I'm thorough enough to do it. I'm that thorough third plus. My own flow is foolish. foolish. You know what I mean? Everybody know what that means. Yeah. Nigga, I'm already dope, nigga. I don't have to bite Biggie. I no. use it because that's my nigga. And yeah. he don't have to. He really don't have and to. And he don't him. have to. No, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. And I heard, and, and I've heard Jay-Z <clears throat> use, uh, I heard him use Prodigy lines before. Him and Prodigy don't supposed to like each other. Yeah. He used Prodigy lines paying homage. Tupac, um, Nas, LL. When Jay-Z did his black album, when Jay-Z did his black album uh, tour, the last two he did, when he did Song Cry, what he played first? I Need Love. Oh, that was sweet. He threw the L's up. Oh, that's sweet. You know what I'm saying? He also did me and my girlfriend by Tupac. By Tupac. Right. Exactly. So right. so that is paying homage more so than biting? Hell yeah. Really? Hell I yeah. feel like it was paying homage. A lot of people a lot of people thought it was biting. But All I, need I thought it was paying homage. Said. You know what I'm saying? I thought he was. Uh, me and my girlfriend. You know, it, it that was a thin line. But I got to say it was paying homage. Oh, no. He, he made paying, a hit off it. He was paying homage. And this one thing, I like, know this one thing about this. You're this, right, but right, I got to agree. It, 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 it's a fine line yeah. with that. Okay, it's a fine line. Yeah. And that's what I'm going to speak to. Mm-hmm. Um, When you can make your own records that are hits and you're proven to do it, mm-hmm. you taking the Tupac song, it's not biting. Because it ain't your best song. It's not it, 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 it wasn't. I, I, honestly, not even I didn't even like the song. I could have did it myself. Yeah. But I understood. Yeah. Are y'all talking about the one with him and Beyonce? Yeah, yeah. I didn't even like that. Yeah, that's Tupac. Cool. I, that's I knew Tupac. That was Tupac, Tupac yeah. but that was a hit, though. Like It was a hit, but uh, I personally didn't like it. Best records. I it wasn't personally didn't like best. it. I thought, I thought the Tupac that, one was way hit. better, yeah. but don't matter. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, But what I'm saying is. I mean, it was a hit for this generation, for that generation at that time. But But this is my thing. You you can understand with Jay Z. You have a track record that has proven. Yeah. You can invent and create and on your own. Artist, you don't have to do, do it, it on yeah. your own. I didn't need to steal Tupac shit. Yeah. But what it was was a good cover mm-hmm. for me and my wife. Me and my wife. Yeah. It was good goddamn business. Good dialect. It was good. At, it was everything. Yeah. It, per- it was perfect. It was it was perfect. I got I got one for y'all. Okay. <clears throat> Is it biting when? One of your artists that's under you okay. come with a song, and it's a dope song. But the fact that you know you are the top nigga in the group crew, you take that nigga song and make it your own. That make it even more homage. For you example, did, well, y'all, well, if, y'all well, done well, better record well, from me. If we in a crew, yeah, we did. Yeah, y'all did, and it wasn't Biden. Blinds. Yeah, that, that high post of shine, seventy watts, 70 behind, watts blinds. behind blinds. Oh, they, we gonna take this challenge though, Sean mm-hmm. crew. 
But we, you know, that was but that's yeah. what make it love. It's yeah. cool. Yeah. yeah. But Sean would have never had a but problem. We, we didn't I take, didn't have but we did not take your song. Like you came with a song, and then we took your song and made it ours. No, yes, you did. But we Sean took a line would've, of yours. We Sean would have never complained. I didn't even have to ask Sean. Y'all Why? crew. Because we fans. Y'all yeah. crew, yeah. I mean, that's, yeah, that was niggas bite, though. Yeah. Niggas bite in big pun shit. Yeah, if Remy Ma and Fejo, they you, yeah, they can do that. But Fejo, hey, you thought, can do that. Jay, um, give it to me. Give it, give to, it me. to me. Give okay. it to me. And, and uh, put your hands up. That was Bean's record. Okay. Okay. That was Bean's record. That was Grizzly Bean's record. That was Grizzly Bean's record. Same beat, Bean's verse, same hook. Is, he, yeah, he, but Jay? Jay done it to a couple of niggas. Yeah. Is that but, your chick? Well, that's originally so, so you, that's paying homage or that's biting? It's biting. No, it's not biting. It's, I don't think it's paying homage. I just think, I just think, I think, I think they did a song and it just, it sounded better to say it was Jay-Z song. It Can I get a, was Ja Rule's song? Who? Can I, Can get, I a get a what? Can I get a what? Yeah. And, 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 and it made better sense to make it Jay-Z song. You don't yeah. think Ja Rule would have shined off that record? Because he did. He did. He, he did. Went but but at the time, but at the time, at the time, Jay was hot. Yeah. Ja Rule was on the come so up. As long as you pay him. It helped Ja Rule career, though. It really did. Ja Rule took off after that. Yeah, it really yeah. did. It just made business sense. Actually, Ja Rule took off after DMX told that nigga, sound like your fucking self. Yeah. Yeah, no, real talk. But can I get him? That was real shit, can though. I get yeah, 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 no, no, yeah, you're trying to do You understand what I'm saying? I know what you're saying, yeah. It was real shit. Yeah. It was like, don't worry about what other niggas think Doing, of you. Yeah, yeah, do, do you. you. And goddamn, you can make right. What do you think Jaru sounded like? Him. DMX. You think he sounded like DMX? When he, he first did. came out, it was a... Uh, he sound like DMX. Oh, yeah. 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 It was a borderline riff. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Borderline. He had that grudge. He always had that grudge. had that Grammy voice. You know, DMX was so hot, and Jaru was doing kind of the same thing. Ja Rule, uh, the DMX kind of checked them. Ja Rule came with all the love songs. You know what I'm saying? All the love songs kind of came. Holla Holla was a love song? No. No, I'm no. talking about after that. Oh, after okay. the That's Do You. That's the Me and You? What is it called? Me and You? Hey, hey, do, 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 do. No, Between Me and You. Yeah. That's what he took yeah. off. Is that Christine Millennium? I have yeah. no problem with the homage. I have no problem with it. Yeah. It's like, um, homage. nine in the morning feds at my dough. Blue Cortez Raven on the hardwood flow. Dip into the alley, I, I made my escape. escape. Didn't, Didn't even, even get a chance to grab my Snoop Dogg <laughs> tape. Dog yeah. pound and Ice-T. Dog tea. pound and Ice-T. I had no problem yeah. with it. None. Shout out to Ice-T. That's yeah, all it shout was. Shout out to and Ice-T. And yep. years in between the songs, though, man. And yeah. Ice-T, and actually, the original song Ice-T made was was a, was a, not a copy, but it was inspired by, it was inspired by, um, I feel so bad because I can't remember this nigga name. From Philly. Spoonie G. Okay. Oh, you know wow. What I'm saying? Yes. We got no problem with yes. that. Wow. Spoonie so G was gangster. Like yes. That? Gangster, yes. Um, I think, Drake I think snatching Soldier Boy shit. If you do the timeline, Drake would have been a fan yeah, of Soldier Boy that in that moment. So it's. I like Drake's version better, though. I give you another one. I give you another Keep one. Keep the phone was actually a pretty decent song. No. And one of them. It was. It that was, was a good actually song. pretty that hot when it came out. Yes, it was. Kiss me through For the phone. You. Yeah, no problem. pretty good song. No problem. Yeah, no pretty problem. good song. Whatever, Rob. This is a thing, so too, though. High this is a but thing, too, though. I heard um, George Clinton. He was really the first artist from the last generation. All before the new edition. Let's dig deep. Mm. All before the new edition and R&B and the Jodeci went a whole different direction. All black, sun shades. It was before that. And he was like... People taking my music is homage to me and the shit that I made. Right. And I know that they sample it, but it was homage to me. They love You're me. keeping me alive. Right. R. Kelly that's what you kept look at Ron Asley alive. alive. You understand what I'm saying? That's where you got to cool. look at it. That's where you got to look cool. at it. Yeah, because R. Kelly made Ron Asley cool again. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. That nigga really brung back. Yeah, he brung back the, the This is Mr. B. <laughs> <laughs> this is Mr. B. <laughs> <laughs> and that's cool. That was what's going on. Homage is one thing. He's telling me that you're sleeping with another woman. Just because I'm sleeping with her doesn't mean I'm right. What the hell are you doing with her? That shit was so sweet. So don't tell me 
a nigga biting off Wayne. Don't tell me a nigga biting off. Who bites off Little Wayne though? And then lots of oh, the Wayne, the Wayne started the a whole rap generation. Yeah, yeah. Lil Wayne he started is. a whole new generation. He is the the generation. Generation. Future is the father of the Motorola. Oh, hell no. no. Future Wayne. came from Wayne. Future, Future came from Wayne. Came from Wayne. 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 Future fathered these niggas. Yo. Hell no. no Future he came from Wayne. What? Wayne and Future is two Future different. Future came hell no. from Wayne. Wayne sprinkled that shit, nigga. Wayne sprinkled that shit, nigga. They just dumbed it down. That's all it is. Yeah. They just dumbed down what Wayne was doing. Wayne killed that shit. They're right. They came from Wayne. They came from Wayne. And they'll tell you.